Hello and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 and my pilot career, which is a little bit shaky at the minute, much like our plane. Uh, today, as you can see, we've not got no camera, the software is playing up this evening, so we're going cameraless, which I'm sure will probably make the content that much better without my face on it. Don't know what's going on with my mug though. Um, yeah, so what we need to do, jump in, let's mess it about. We are looking to get our commercial pilot license, our CPL. We've got our PPL. You know, on our CPL. But we need to be better at flying. So what we're going to do, actually, I think I can do it from there, is if we come in with our training, our trim management is all right. Our departure isn't too bad. Um, oh, we've got to do different things first. Okay. Dead Reckoning. Is that going to get us to do that? So I have been off doing a little bit of practicing away to try and get better. Um, we've we've improved our solo flight. That was a C, so we're a B at solo flight. My arrival, I thought I'd got that up to B, so perhaps that's not carried over here. So as part of our training, our practice, because it costs us two and a half grand, if we mess this up, we, our career is over. <laughs> so um, we're going to go and redo the first solo flight because it should be pretty much the same route or route as, as what we get when we go for the license, I think. So we'll see what we can do because I need to work on the, uh, <laughs> the approach and the land and hence why rivals is C. So we're going to go here and we're going to do this practice. See, that's different. This is first solo flight navigation. This is something that I wasn't doing. I was doing something that I probably should have already been good at. But we'll give this a crack. We'll do this. So for this, we're going to want to... We're going to want to listen to what they have to say, I think. I think they're going to tell us, hopefully, a little bit about what we need to do. Are you ready for this? No. You're going solo on a full VFR flight. Okay. From takeoff to touchdown, it's all you. You'll be departing Flagstaff Pulliam Airport, handling every navigational step on your way to Sedona. It's the return trip from your previous lessons. You'll be flying over the same landmarks. You remember them? The Highway, Munns Park Golf Club. Choose whatever you're confident with. Dead Reckoning, Landmark Navigation, or both. This is what you've trained for. Just remember everything you've learned, and most of all, enjoy the ride. Yeah, this isn't this isn't what I'd been um, training. I had been training something a bit different to this. I've been training more basic stuff than this, but never mind. Right, I'll put that there. So these are our headers. This is where we've got to get to. We shall quickly. Now, I keep doing this, and Mr. T will ask me, what am I doing when I do this? Um, I never get time during our flights to actually use the, uh, if I do a bit quicker, use the navigation for the uh, the GPS or the heading or, or any of that. But that is ultimately what this is for. So maybe we'll get to use it this time. So we're on the runway anyway. So let's, um, let's boot her up. Oh, let's not. Let's go for extra flat. And a little extra trim. Naturally, the camera's going to do what it wants to do. We'll go there. Right. Now we should be good to take off. So what we've got to do is get to the highway get to the golf club and then get to the the airfield at the golf club if we if we if we gone through the proper training to get here um you guys would have known that but never mind so i think the pattern here is we have to take off we loop around we cut back across the airfield and then we head out and what we're supposed to be doing is using our markers Ooh, my um my sat nav needs to catch up is to use our markers to uh 
to know where we are. But I, th I, th I think, I think we can be a bit naughty and get the autopilot on this. To be fair. Well, we we may not not be able to. Why I'm climbing too high? That's that's all right. Just climbing too quick. We won't sink. Don't you worry. We are fine. Right. So if we circle our way around over the airport. Because I think the idea of this is that the navigation isn't working. You have to wait. You have to find the point when the navigation syncs up, I believe. So we should still be climbing. Okay. take off the rest of the flaps. Stall. Should be able to climb a little bit easier then. Stall. This plane does not really like climbing. It doesn't like doing a lot to be fair. It's not got a lot of oomph to it. Yeah, we've got to stay in the vicinity of the the airfield, and then it'll ask me to cross the centre of the airfield. So that's why I was trying to climb quick before I could uh, get there. I'm not sure if this is the mission it's going to ask us to do for our training, though. Whether that means we end up doing this twice, because this is quite long. Come on, keep climbing, keep climbing. Because we're just trying to get above the uh, the rest of the uh, the flight patterns. That's where we're going to 8,500 feet. And at no point did we remain 75 knots. So prepare for navigation. So our cruise attitude. There we are. So RPM 23. Position over the runway centre. As we start to drop out of the sky. Where has the runway gone? Anyone see the runway? Over there, right here. There we go, just in front of us. So we need to try and stay above. How far have we sunk? We've gone down a little bit, haven't we? But that's all right. So then what we're supposed to do is when we hit KLFG, press start on our stopwatch, and if we're facing in the right direction, which we are not, we would um, only take us 12 minutes to reach our next point. Airport underneath us. So we're navigating to Musford Park. Start. So if we at least try and get ourselves pointed in the right direction. Yeah, get rid of that for now. Stall. Yeah, we're all right. So if we turn 
We're on navigation mode, so if we turn our autopilot on, and our altitude is pretty good, so hopefully that'll maintain altitude for us. Let's see what the plane does, see if I've got this right. Once we get back onto this purple line here, I'm hoping the plane is going to swing round. I think I was overly hopeful of that, wasn't I? Right, yeah. So we might use... If I can find it, while well, I turn the plane back around... So it's going to take us a lot more than 12 minutes to get where we need to get to. Autopilot's trying to take us over onto that one. That's not where we want to be. According to this, our line is to our left. Try not to look at this one up top left, but uh, if we go is that I don't know I do know why it is because I'm using a controller and a mouse. It tries to do a lot of different things all at once. So heading mode is on, so we'll see if it takes us on our heading route, which might be a little bit off. And there we go. But that's why I set the heading, because I can then use that if the navigation is off. So we're using uh, hold altitude. That's got us just under the... Uh, 8500 we're going at 85 knots which I think is sort of where we want to be for our cruise and now once you've got that set up this is something I could never do with those other little short flights now we've got that set up we can pretty much chill because we're just waiting to uh... I'll try not to fiddle with this too much because I do mess it up Can I um which one is it? I always forget how we can pan this one out. We can have a little fiddle now while we're flying. We've we've got no, got nothing to do for about ten minutes. <laughs> but we can just try and play around. See if I can remember how to do this. So hold the joystick. We don't want that. Why? It's definitely not that one. Hmm. Yeah, if I bring up my flight bag again. So f it should have been like four minutes, 12 nautical miles. And we can see on here, our heading, our next one, is still 4.8 nautical miles away at the heading. That we're going with so we've pretty much got that back online again just by correcting the heading although my heading was off i think by one 
because we weren't on the line anyway this sort of brought us back so yeah so once we hit um poi1 we then want to switch our heading to 222 and we'll do that for nine nautical miles which should, should be about three minutes But like I say, we were some way out to start with. Why can I not, for the life of me, remember how just to just get this to... Uh... Pan out. I'll get rid of that. Not that one. A flight plan. Will that bring it up? No, that is our actual flight plan. Oh, you can see it now. It has panned out a little bit. So we're coming in. This is where we want to get to. Then once we hit this point, we'll then take our head into, like I say, to two two two. And um, that'll bring our plane round to uh, FPL 002 or KSEZ. So it's our flight plan locator one, or flight plan location one, and then flight plan location two. And that's where we're going. We can bring it up on here somewhere. There it is. So as you can see, we're sort of a little bit off, so we can adjust the heading and the plane will start to come around. Don't even have to touch anything. So then, just wait for ourselves to come by. And we want to set that to 222. down here we're a little bit off but that's not too bad if we go maybe 223 we can bring ourselves back across now the bit that I then struggle with surprisingly enough the bit I then struggle with is how far out before I have to start slowing down I think I I could just get that to bloom well zoom in. If I could remember what that is to zoom that in, that would be great. But for the life of me, I cannot remember. So if I go back to the flight plan, where was it? There it is. Just follow along. I think what we'll do is we'll cross the airfield and then we'll try and land. That's probably... Because uh, then we can pick up its, um, its responders... Don't ask me what their technical name is, but yeah, it'll have something that we can pick up, and then we'll uh, we'll probably get radio. I forgot to reset my clock as well, but that happens. But we'll wait. We'll wait and see what they say. Oh, I, should, I should have reset the start watch. Should I just do it so that they're happy with that? 
<laughs> there you go. We'll see if that disappears. There we go. It doesn't matter. <laughs> We're about a minute out. Yeah, so we're just going to reach the airport and then uh, then they'll give us our approach, I think. I hope. So I'll get, get rid of that for now. Shall we have a little look? At, ooh, we've reached it and we've maintained. So, let's see what they give us. Descend, so we need to. Start to come down, we'll take away the altitude. Probably come off autopilot entirely. This bit's for me. So we'll zoom out a little bit. Not sure how quickly I can drop out of the sky. This is where I start to tr struggle. But we can cross the the airfield and we can come back in on ourselves until we uh, sort of get where we need to be, I think. Well, because if we start dive bombing it, which I <coughs> excuse me, which I feel inclined to do, we will definitely be coming in too quick. So I just cut the engine right down, so I want to lose my voice. Are we getting auto trim? Because that should be off. I feel like I'm getting lift off the trim and I don't want it. I mean, that was, that was a rather quick descent, but we're pretty much there. We tip the nose a little bit more. Oh, they're quite happy with that. Right. So, we still need to be, we need to lose a lot of, we need to be losing speed here. So, we've got to get into the traffic pattern. We're still descending. I think we can probably stop descending. Can't put my, well, I can't put my flaps up. Now, get our first lot of flaps up. Okay. So we're a little bit below now, unfortunately. It's supposed to be like 6,000 feet, I believe. But we've got no... No real um, engine speed going at the minute. Well, that's okay. So this is a bit where we get a little bit of time to try and get, get in control. Yeah, so we did, didn't maintain 6,000 feet, so we might get in trouble here. And we're certainly not doing our 70 knots, so we'll just try and get a little bit more speed. We will put on a bit more trim again. Is, but as soon as we hit that 6,000 feet, it's going to want me to start to uh, decline. Oh, yeah, descend, not decline. if we're this low already I probably want to try and get in on that base leg Stall. Stall. yeah this could be our first proper crash 
as we are coming in low and slow. Although that's saying we're going too fast. So yeah, we want to be down to, I think, probably about 1700 RPM. We're a little, we are a little bit high. We've not got no glide slope. Again. So I'm going to cut the engine right out. See what we can do here. Because I'm going to come in too quick. So at first I felt like... <laughs> yeah, no glide slope. Just going to drop. Hopefully, it's, it's quite a generous runway. We'll see if we can land on the end. Or not, never mind. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> We're going to hit the fence. We're going through the fence. <laughs> okay, so let's reset us all the way back here in perfect formation. Good job that was just the just, just in the simulator for that one that went real flying it was just training so even at their given speed for perfect arrival we still saw heavily drop in speed and heavily oh, descending right If I, I was going to then going to give myself some more, some more flap. So down to seventeen hundred. Seventeen hundred. There we go. Right. Am I allowed to give myself an extra flap now for lift? Okay, now if we have a little look, the runway's over there. Still coming in too fast. So we're coming in at 70. We didn't find a glide slope. And I feel like we're only just making the runway. <laughs> if I try and go any slower, I'm not going to make it. As we saw, if I go a little bit quicker. We, uh, that would probably kill the engine completely, wouldn't it? I think that might have been my issue before, perhaps I still had a little bit, <laughs> bit too much throttle on the go. There we go. That's a fail anyway, because we, we crashed. I didn't but you do well. Can do better. <laughs> Some people say the sky's the limit. I say it's just the beginning. 
whatever, whatever. So it was training anyway. Why was our takeoff so bad? What was wrong with the takeoff? Is it because I used the extra flap and they don't like that? They never want you to use like 10%, but I find it easier with 20. I don't understand why the takeoff was considered so bad, but we got a B. So if we could get a B for our license, I'll take that because I, I think I'm a, I'm a B, <laughs> I'm a B pilot. I wish I was a B pilot. <laughs> Oh dear. Based on your training grade, I think you're ready. Okay, so he thinks we're good to go. So, off we go. Oh, Scotty boy, better be right. Where the freaky deep are we? So, we want to take off, initial climb, downwind, long final. So, we've got a long final entry. So, we've got a, a nice, easy entry there. Okay, let's give it a crack. So let's uh, do all our bits. I don't know if we're going to get the uh, the little or well, the little gates back for this. I don't know. We didn't have them for our solo flight. Uh, the rest of the plane we don't have to check. So we shall enter. You all right? Yeah. You having a good one? Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do this. Welcome to your CPL check ride. The last stop on your way to become a true professional pilot. For this check ride, you will complete a cross country flight through Los Angeles County. Through Los Taking Angeles off from County. Van Nuys Airport and then landing at Bob Hope Airport. You can start when you are ready. Okay. Van Nuys Ground, Cessna Golf. Delta, X-Ray, Bravo, Juliet, request taxi for departure to the east with Oscar. Cessna Golf. Delta, X-Ray, Bravo, Juliet, taxi two. And hold short of runway 16 right via taxiway Alpha 1 Charlie. Contact tower on 120.2 when ready. Can we get some little... Um knowledge yeah taxi two and hold short runway one six right using taxiway alpha one charlie cessna x-ray bravo juliet looks like we just gone around behind us so we get a bit of juice going try and get this plane moving i am so bad at taxiing slow down mate slow down Following the wavy yellow line. Let's take off. Van Nuys Tower, Cessna Golf. Delta X ray Bravo Juliet at runway 16, right ready for departure, departure to the east. Cessna Golf, Delta X-ray Bravo Juliet Altimeter, tune in our decimal nine or two east departure approved. Cleared for takeoff runway one six right. Okay. Knowledge. Cleared for takeoff runway one six right Cessna X-ray Bravo Juliet. So we've already got some trim on that. I don't know if there's been an update. Just updated some of my settings, maybe, for my uh, stuff, because I don't want auto trim. Oh, there we go. I can turn them on. And where are we going now? Overshot, overshot, overshot. It's all right. It's all right, boss. It's all right. It's all right, I don't know what is going on. Why does that happen to me when I enter the runway all the time? <laughs> we're good, we're good. 
We've still got, to, still got time to make speed. We'll be fine. We just drifted in on our commercial pilot's license. It's, we're already in here. We're good. We're good. <laughs> oh, Lordy. What was that? What was that? Did you see that, mate? Did you see it? He loved it. I don't think that's the first time he's uh, had to endure something like that. Oh, Dolly's take off. Van Nuys Tower, Cessna Golf. Delta X ray Bravo Juliet continue for east departure. There we go, I've got little gates now. Awesome. Right. Turn. If we turn them off, do we lose all of it? Awesome. All right. So we're still climbing. And we're there. So we're going to ease off on the throttle a bit. See so if we can have cruise attitude. There we go. So autopilot's going to follow the the navigation. And I've set our altitude to hold at, well, just at sort of a little bit high, but we'll be alright. It's still green, so I'll take it. Now, there is a button for approach, which I think would help us hit. We use the vertical speed mode. Right level change mode, vertical speed mode, I think. Turn a little bit. Since our AP wasn't there, it is. AP's picked it up now. Cessna XR Bravo Juliet leaving my airspace frequency change approved. Acknowledge. Van Nuys Tower, Cessna Golf. Delta X ray Bravo Juliet frequency change. I think we definitely uh, get rid of some of that flat. Should have got rid of that ages ago. Gonna announce full stop landing as we come in as we've switched over to the uh, airport. Tower, Cessna Golf. Delta X ray Bravo Juliet is four miles west, 1,900 feet with India to land. Cessna Golf, Delta X ray Bravo Juliet Burbank Tower. Altimeter two niner decimal niner two fly straight in runway eight. Knowledge. Make straight in runway eight Cessna X ray Bravo Juliet. Really will line ourselves up a little bit better. Cessna X ray Bravo Juliet wind two five eight at six. Cleared to land runway eight. See, so it's took away all my trim again. Who's taken away my trim? Who's doing? Who is doing that? Acknowledge. Clear to land runway 8 Cessna X ray Bravo Juliet. Again, no glide slope. Coming in a bit quick. Let's get it down to maybe 1300. RPMs on the right hand side. Right, engine speed's bottom left as well if you want to look at those ones. So we're coming in too quick again. Oh, flap, flap. Come on, let me do double flaps. It helps me slow down, I promise. Now, the fact that we've got no red lights on the left hand side, we've got four white, tells us that we're coming in too fast and too high. Our glide slope 
our glide slope hasn't popped up on the display in front of us either, but got plenty of runway. I think we can do it this time. Pull up just as we come down. Oh, we got a bounce. Oh, that's annoying. Reducing speed. Can we... X Bravo Julia turn next taxiway. See if we can get it. See if we can get it. See if we can get it. Come on. Yes. Cessna X-ray Bravo Juliet contact ground on one two tree decimal niner. Will do. Going to one two tree decimal niner Cessna X-ray Bravo Juliet. Let's re request taxi clearance. Burbank ground Cessna Golf Delta X-ray Bravo Juliet request taxi to parking. Cessna Golf. Delta X-Ray Bravo Juliet Taxi to General Aviation, parking via taxiway Delta 7. Knowledge. Taxiing to General Aviation parking using taxiway Delta 7 Cessna X-Ray Bravo now. Juliet. Let's get some, some juice in the engine again. Try and get it moving. So if we have a long approach, I just have trouble like judging that speed coming in, and I'm I swear I'm using the numbers that they teach us in training. It doesn't seem to make much difference for me. Always too high. Just I can't even find the glide slope. Glide slope. I think it's a glide slope. Glide slope. Um, there is a chopper chopper in the way, mate. Yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Where's my little box gone? There it is. A little bit more juice in the engine. You probably hear me tapping away as I try and get that up to about 800 RPM. See so if we can get around this. It's just stop in. This is what I, I honestly, I do not know how you maintain quality momentum on the ground because sometimes anything over a thousand rpm <laughs> you start to take off but at the minute if i if i was doing 800 which is what, what i found comfortable before didn't want to move oh you've, you've always might want to mind out of the way a little bit you might want to mind out of the way a little bit just a little bit I mean, I think I'm in there. Set park and brake. Turn the engine off. Ooh, hold it. You perform great today. I'll keep the same yes. attitude. And I'm sure that you will have great piloting career. Performed gr Oh, mate. And they swore then. I never expected an A. Oh, dear. So our CPL was better than our PPL. Oh, that's awesome. I am, I am so chuffed with that. So chuffed with that. I'm taking a screenshot. Oh, that is so good. My aviator performance at 100. Respect the taxi path. So that was, we had to to weave to avoid the helicopter that was there. Cruise attitude, flight plan, plane handling. I, I am so chuffed with that. <laughs> like, <laughs> Oh dear, so so much better than I expected. I'm gonna say, and that was on a controller. Congratulations, certification, commercial pilot license, in past, allows you to fly an airplane for a financial compensation. Embark on your journey as a professional pilot across a wide variety of activities. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. This is oh. congratulations. Now you are able to earn money for completing missions. Is that it? Is that it's gonna, that's what's gonna give me? Oh, dear. okay, cool. 
cool 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 right so we'll, we're a long way off it but you have to sort of think about where we want to go and i want to get to um transport really to be fair um want to do fog bar freights so we need some of that so the things we've got to work towards is a multi-engine rating and instrument rating so we'll do some training in videos and we'll do um jobs to earn money so we're gonna have to do both because that's that's 10 grand we need to pay 10 grand just for the instrument rating and we need to pay 15 grand for the multi-engine rating and that's providing we pass them first time if we fail obviously we have to earn that money again so we're probably going to want to get a little bit of bank in the pocket because it's going to be a grind fest that's oh, i i honestly i am so ch so why have we not got the camera on i am like grinning from ear to ear oh dear bloody camera that is oh i'm well chuffed we we will try some of this other stuff later on but i want to get to here because i want to get to to transport and cargo so we've unlocked two or a new specialization so ferry flight gear up for an exciting ferrying mission where you'll be responsible for flying aircraft from uh, flying aircraft from maintenance moving customers or delivering a new aircraft to its owner on short vfr routes you'll have to take care of the aircraft throughout the journey navigate the skies ensure the safety and integrity of your plane become a reliable and respected ferry pilot in the aviation world and that opens us up to some new planes once we get other things going so we can still only use this by the looks of us green um the jmb so yeah we've, we've got two three what is that anyway that looks a little bit empty so we'll probably spend a lot of our time in the skyhawk because i n somewhat understand the g1000 um navigation system i might have a look at that away and see but I'll, I'll, i'm guessing that's a little bit bit old school on the inside of that 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 never loads in that one <laughs> okay so for flight seeing we just need to get to level five and then we can start to do these missions i think and then obviously cargo so we've got to get to level 10 anyway uh, perform airplane missions with a landing smoothness above 50 <laughs> that might be our be our holding point uh, score airplane missions with C or above which we should be fine with so yeah now we now we have to start to look at what we want to do where we're gonna go not too worried about skydiving for a bit but but if that's going to open us up to income but all we've got to do is these things and then we'll open that up as jobs. So we'll probably do it, but for now, ferry flight. That's our thing. And I'm not going to click on missions because that's probably going to start some jibber jabber and, and, and whatnot from Scott. So I am going to leave it there. This, this is our, our video today. Um, because there's probably going to be some grinding to do, we may get some live streams. Um, so I'll, I'll probably do the next recorded one will be a mission or two earn some money see what that's all about see how smooth that is and then episode five might be um a few hours of streaming to get three or four maybe five i don't know it depends on how long they have done it uh jobs in uh, trying to earn some money but hopefully you've enjoyed this one i certainly have even if you in because i've got my license but yeah if you have please give a big fat thumbs up down below if you are new to the channel hit the subscribe button turn the bell notification on find out when new videos are going live as always comments and feedback down there you guys have a wonderful day and hopefully i'll see you again soon bye bye